The Muryogi Sutra, also known as the Sutra of Innumerable Meanings, holds a profound place in Nichiren Buddhism. It serves as a gateway to understanding the depth and breadth of the Buddha's enlightenment. At its core, the sutra reveals that all phenomena in the universe are manifestations of the Buddha's life, each endowed with the three enlightened properties, the law, wisdom, and action. The character, Ryo, in Muryogi represents the essential teaching because it means to discern and encompass. This teaching goes beyond simply describing the Buddha's attributes. Instead, it unveils a revolutionary concept. Every entity in existence is a unique expression of the Buddha of absolute freedom. When illuminated by the mystic law, each phenomenon perfectly manifests its individual character as the Buddha nature emerges from within. Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Buddhist priest who established the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, explains this principle. Each entity's individuality is as unique as cherry, plum, peach, or apricot and, just as it is, manifests itself as the Buddha who inherently possesses the three enlightened properties. This imagery of diverse fruits helps us grasp that despite our differences, we all share the potential for Buddhahood. The essential teaching builds upon the theoretical teaching of Ichin and Sanzen, 3,000 realms in a single moment of life, by introducing actual Ichin and Sanzen. This principle asserts that each entity is itself a manifestation of the Buddha, originally endowed with the three properties. Nichiren boldly declares, Now Nichiren and his disciples who chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo are the original lords of the three properties. This statement underscores the transformative power of the practice, elevating practitioners to the status of Buddhas in their present form. The Muryogi Sutra likens the relationship between the Buddha, the Sutra, and the Bodhisattva, a person seeking enlightenment, to a royal family. The king, the Buddha, and the queen, this sutra, come together, and this son, a bodhisattva, is born of them. This metaphor illustrates how the sutra serves as a conduit for the Buddha's wisdom, nurturing the growth of bodhisattvas. Nichiren further states, The benefit and virtue of a Buddha are boundless, his wisdom fathomless, and his powers vast, but there is some seed or cause which has given birth to them all. This seed is none other than the mystic law, encapsulated in the chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It is the ultimate cause that allows all beings to manifest their innate Buddha nature. The sutra emphasizes the importance of deep understanding and correct interpretation. Entering deeply into the secret law of the Buddhas, the Bodhisattva, will interpret the sutra without error or fault. Nichiren identifies this secret law for our current age known as the latter day of the law. The true law in the latter day of the law is Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. These five characters are the secret law that will never deceive the people. This assertion carries significant implications for society. Nichiren states, when the people all have faith in the true law, their country will be peaceful. He draws on the authority of the Hak Genji, a commentary on the Lotus Sutra, which affirms, if you rely upon this law, then the realm will be at peace. This law refers to the Lotus Sutra, and by extension, to Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Nichiren expresses unwavering confidence. There can be no doubt that if people believe in the Sutra, the land will be peaceful and secure. The Muryogi Sutra outlines ten merits or benefits that arise from embracing its teachings. The seventh merit describes how even before fully practicing the six paramitas, perfections of virtue, they naturally manifest in the lives of sincere practitioners. The sutra states, If good sons or daughters, hearing this sutra either during the Buddha's lifetime or after his extinction, rejoice, believe and raise the rare mind, keep, recite, read, copy and expound it, practice it as it has been preached, aspire to Buddhahood, cause all the good roots to sprout, raise the mind of great compassion, and want to relieve all living beings of sufferings, the six paramitas will naturally present in them, though they cannot yet practice the six paramitas. This passage highlights the transformative power of the sutra. By engaging with it wholeheartedly through faith, study, and practice practitioners set in motion profound changes in their lives. The aspiration for Buddhahood, 
coupled with compassion for all beings, becomes the catalyst for embodying the six paramitas giving, morality, patience, diligence, meditation, and wisdom. The ninth merit speaks to the sutra's capacity to eradicate karmic hindrances. If good sons or good daughters, receiving this sutra, leap for joy, acquire the unprecedented, keep, read, recite, copy and adore this sutra, and explain its meaning discriminatingly and widely for living beings, they will instantly destroy the heavy barrier of sins resulting from previous karma and become purified. Nichiren provides a vivid analogy to illustrate this point. Various sins are just like dewdrops. The Son of Wisdom, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is capable of dissolving them all. Just as the morning sun dispels dew, the wisdom of the mystic law has the power to dissolve karmic impediments, leading to purification. The Muryogi Sutra's exploration of inconceivable merit power extends beyond individual transformation to encompass societal change. It proposes that widespread faith in the true law Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can usher in an era of peace and security. This vision of Kosen Rufu, or worldwide propagation of the mystic law, remains a central aspiration of Nichiren Buddhism. The Muryogi Sutra serves as a bridge between the theoretical and essential teachings of the Lotus Sutra. It reveals that the three enlightened properties are not distant ideals but immediate realities within each person's life. By chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, practitioners awaken to their original enlightenment and work toward manifesting it in daily life. The Sutra challenges us to see beyond surface appearances and recognize the Buddha nature in all phenomena. This perspective fosters respect for diversity while affirming our shared potential for enlightenment. It encourages us to view our unique qualities not as limitations but as the very expression of our Buddhahood. As we delve deeper into the Muryogi Sutra, we come to understand that its teachings are not mere philosophical concepts but dynamic principles meant to be actualized through faith and practice. The Sutra invites us to experience a profound shift in consciousness from seeing ourselves as ordinary beings striving for enlightenment to recognizing that we are already Buddhas manifesting our inherent wisdom. This realization carries immense responsibility. If we are indeed original lords of the three properties, then our thoughts, words, and actions have the power to influence not only our individual lives but also the world around us. The Sutra thus calls us to compassionate action, to strive for the happiness of ourselves and others based on the conviction of our innate Buddha nature. The Muryogi Sutra's emphasis on correct interpretation reminds us of the importance of studying and dialoguing about these teachings. It is through such efforts that we deepen our understanding and avoid misunderstandings that could lead us astray. The Muryogi Sutra offers a profound vision of life imbued with infinite meaning. It teaches us that the path to enlightenment is not about becoming something other than what we are but rather awakening to our true selves. By embracing the mystic law and striving to manifest our inherent Buddha nature, we contribute to creating a society based on respect, compassion, and peace. As Nichiren's writings and the Sutra itself affirm, this is no mere utopian ideal but a tangible possibility when people unite in faith around the true law. The journey through the Muryogi Sutra is one of self-discovery and empowerment. It challenges us to see ourselves and the world with new eyes eyes that perceive the fundamental dignity and potential of all life. In this light, every moment becomes an opportunity for transformation, every challenge a chance to reveal our inner strength, and every interaction a mutual reminder of our shared Buddha nature. As we continue to explore and apply these teachings in our daily lives, May we always remember the profound message of the Muryogi Sutra, that we are already endowed with the three enlightened properties, capable of discerning and encompassing the true nature of all phenomena. And in this realization lies the key to unlocking innumerable meanings and boundless joy. The Ripple Effect of Individual Transformation The Muryogi Sutra's teachings on individual transformation carry far-reaching implications for society as a whole. When we truly grasp that each entity is a manifestation of the Buddha, our interactions with others and our environment undergo a radical shift. This shift is not just philosophical, it's practical and tangible. 
Consider Nichiren's statement. If all the people in the land embrace the true law, then that country will be peaceful. This isn't mere rhetoric. It's a bold assertion about the power of widespread faith in Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to reshape the fabric of society. But how does this work? The answer lies in understanding the interconnectedness of all phenomena, a central tenet of Buddhism. When individuals awaken to their Buddha nature through faith in the mystic law, they naturally begin to act with greater wisdom and compassion. This change in behavior, multiplied across many individuals, can lead to a transformation in social norms and institutions. For example, a person who recognizes the Buddha nature in themselves and others is less likely to engage in harmful or discriminatory actions. They're more inclined to seek win-win solutions to conflicts, to prioritize dialogue over confrontation, and to work for the benefit of all rather than narrow self-interest. As this mindset spreads, it can influence everything from family dynamics to corporate ethics to national policies. Moreover, the Muryogi Sutra's teaching that we are original lords of the three properties instills a profound sense of responsibility. If we truly possess the properties of the law, wisdom, and action, then we are accountable for how we use them. This accountability extends beyond our personal lives to our roles as citizens, community members, and stewards of the environment. The Transformative Power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo At the heart of this individual and societal transformation is the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Nichiren describes it as the secret law and the true law in the latter day of the law. But what makes this practice so potent? The power lies in its ability to align our lives with the fundamental rhythm of the universe. Myoho Renge Kyo represents the mystic law that underlies all phenomena. By chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we're not just reciting words, we're resonating with the core principles of life itself. This resonance has a purifying effect, which is why Nichiren likens various sins to dewdrops and Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to the Son of Wisdom capable of dissolving them. It's not that chanting erases karma in a simplistic cause and effect manner. Rather, it elevates our life condition, allowing us to transform negative tendencies into positive energy for growth. The Muryogi Sutra speaks of this when it describes how practitioners will instantly destroy the heavy barrier of sins resulting from previous karma and become purified. This purification isn't just about wiping away past misdeeds. It's about clarifying our intentions and actions in the present moment. Furthermore, the sutra emphasizes joy as a key response to encountering these teachings. If good sons or good daughters, receiving this sutra, leap for joy, acquire the unprecedented. This joy isn't superficial happiness but a profound sense of purpose and hope. It arises from recognizing our infinite potential and feeling empowered to actualize it. Living the Sutra the true test of understanding the Muryogi Sutra is not in intellectual comprehension but in lived experience. As Nichiren often stressed, embracing the Gohonzon, the object of devotion that embodies Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is embracing one's own life as the Buddha. This means facing each day's challenges with the conviction that we possess within us the wisdom to navigate them skillfully. It means treating each person we encounter as a Buddha regardless of their current behavior or circumstances. And it means striving to create value in every situation, knowing that our actions ripple out into the world in ways we may not immediately see. Living the Sutra also involves continuous learning and dialogue. The passage about entering deeply into the secret law of the Buddhas and interpreting without error or fault reminds us that faith must be coupled with study. We deepen our practice by engaging with the teachings, discussing them with others, and applying them to the realities of our lives. In this context, propagation becomes natural. When we experience actual proof of the sutra's teachings in our own lives, we want to share that with others. This sharing isn't about imposing beliefs but about offering hope showing through our own example that transformation is possible. A Mission for Peace as we conclude our exploration of the Muryogi Sutra, let's return to its fundamental message. Each of us, just as we are, embodies the three enlightened properties of the Buddha. 
This teaching shatters the illusion of powerlessness and plants the seeds for genuine peace. Peace, in this light, is not the absence of conflict but the dynamic functioning of wisdom and compassion in society. It's built from the ground up, starting with individuals who take responsibility for their own human revolution and extend that transformation to their families, communities, and beyond. The path laid out by the Muryogi Sutra is challenging. It demands courage to look unflinchingly at our lives and society. It requires perseverance to continue chanting, studying, and taking action even when results aren't immediately apparent. And it calls for humility to recognize that while we embody the three properties, we're also on a journey of continual growth. But the Sutra also assures us that we're not alone on this path. We walk it alongside countless bodhisattvas, ordinary people striving to manifest their Buddha nature. Together, united in the practice of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can indeed create a society where all people come to recognize and respect the dignity of life. Let us recommit to living the spirit of the Muryogi Sutra. Let us chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the confidence that we are Buddhas in our present form, facing today's realities. And let us act with wisdom and compassion, knowing that each step we take reverberates with innumerable meanings, contributing to the grand symphony of Kosen Rufu world peace through individual happiness.